Welcome to the Laboratories of Only One Egg Productions, where today we are conducting secret electrogravitic tests. Not secret because we've expected to find anything new today, but because I'm supposed to be working and not playing with my lifters. Anyway, so what I'm trying to do is visualize the ion wind and electrogravitic effect, if there is one, that surrounds the lifter. Now, I don't have a vacuum chamber in which I can pump out all the air and use a solid dielectric and see if I can find out if this is electrogravity or just ion wind, but I can visualize the field around the lifter by using small little non-conducting things like a styrofoam peanut and see how it interacts with the lifter. It definitely wants to be attracted to the skirt, which would be natural since it's collecting most electrostatic field. But if you get close enough past the uh, push out from the ion wind, it does seem to reach a point where it's attracted to the string again. Maybe that's an electrogravitic well? I couldn't tell you. I'm just trying to visualize it. gets pushed around quite a bit. There is a lot of ion wind, no doubt about it. And it's definitely neutrally still attracted to the skirt. Must be the uh, styrofoam's picking up a lot of that electrostatic ions and then drawing it in. Now, in this test, we're going to try something what seems to me a bit more dangerous which is to dangle a piece of aluminum foil, the same uh, material used in the skirt, as close to the wire as I can, again without touching it. There's certainly a lot of eddies and currents out there, but, you know, there does seem to be some sort of a focus around the wire. Hard to say whether it's taking it in or pushing it out. I just don't want to get so close with this foil. Again, if any of you have ever been zapped by 20,000 volts, you know what I mean. You don't want to tempt fate, so to speak. But anyway, what you can see about the uh, surrounding field and ion wind and maybe an electrogravitic effect, hard to say. Enjoy. Enjoy. 